upon arrival at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, you can take the KLIA Express train to the city. It takes about 28 minutes and it will stop at KL Central, the main transportation hub in Kuala Lumpur. And here, you also get connected to other train lines to get to the Kuala Lumpur city centre. Back to another episode of MH48 Hours Stopover in Kuala Lumpur. We have just checked in to A Loft Hotel, a hip and trendy contemporary hotel just a stone throw away from KL Central, our transportation hub in Kuala Lumpur. I hope you have been following us on YouTube, MH48 Hours Stopover in KL. In our previous episode, we have had a pocket in the city, the charm of old Malaya, and under the shades of the Twin Towers. So in our fourth episode, we will be exploring Little India and tomorrow morning, we'll go to Baru Caves and climb the stairs for some exercise. Welcome to Brickfields. This is KL's own Little India, which is not far away from where uh, the hotel was. Uh, it's probably about five minutes walk. And here, it's a wonderful place for shopping. You can get uh, textile, spices, and uh, jewelry. And of course, this is also a wonderful place for its food. And uh, besides uh, northern and southern Indian food, you can also get local street fare, nasi lemak, noodle, um, tea, you know. Uh, and the wonderful thing is it operates like 24 hours, you can get food at any time. This is uh, Mi Goreng Mama. Mama is a local term for the Indian Muslim community. Okay, so the Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the traditional Indian uh, wear called Jepa. Jipa. Jipa. Yes. It is one South Indian, North Indian? So, oh, same. All Indian. All Indian. Okay, good. Okay. India one. Huh? <laughs> Number one. <laughs> okay, okay. Satu Malaysia. Satu Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maharaja. Yes, I want to be Maharaja. Sire ya, sire. Bitungan. Then roll, bye. Then. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
now at the rooftop of the Alof Hotel and behind me is a beautiful infinity pool. It's a great place to spend the evening, to relax, chill out and have fun. Hi. Yeah. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, good. good. Yourself? Good, right. good. Very Fantastic. Thanks. Let me show you around. Let me introduce you to the, the Maibar. Oh, over here, you have the chandelier black bull. The black bull. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. And we have the Lavalicious bar here. Okay. And we have the red light. Lavalicious bar. Yeah, Lavalicious. Wow. That's why wow. we have the red light. On the it actually looks very delicious too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get a big crowd? Yeah, we get crowd. Uh, mainly we get locals or? Locals, we get foreigners, we get a lot of outside, inside house guests. Every Wednesday to Saturday, we have a uh, few DJs. We play the house music. So, what time do they start playing? They start playing at 10. Where's my earphone? <laughs> <laughs> This is so open for reservation. For reservation, for walk ins, as you can see all the views. Also oh, yeah, there. man. Awesome view. Alright, uh, tell you what, let's do something. Okay. Let me make you a cocktail. Oh, that sounds fantastic. You should try our Mai Tai. Mai Tai? It's called the Mauritian Princess Mai Tai. Oh. So, see, this is this for me. Alright, okay. Let's, let's try. Let's do that. Oh, you should taste it. It's very nice. Okay. Pineapple juice. Okay. Take it, man. Malaysian Princess Mai Tai. It's very called. refreshing. Malaysian Princess Mai Tai. Hi. Truly Malaysian, truly Malaysian drink. Cheers. So we want to encourage people to stop with Kia because there's a lot of things you can do. And it's also very convenient, you know, uh, it's very accessible. And I'm now exploring Brickfields. I'm at Jalan Scott or Scott's Road. I'd like to get some supper. Maybe let's try some pure vegetarian authentic Punjabi food at the authentic Chapati Hut. and if you're staying in the Brickfields area, you should come here to the authentic Chapati Hut and try the Punjabi vegetarian food. In Malaysia, besides the Chinese, Indian, uh, Malay food, you know, there is also a diversity of other food that you can try and one of it is the Punjabi food. And one thing unique about this place is quite hidden, it's off uh, Jalan Scott and it's stuck between two buildings. It's really an experience dining here. here at the Batu Caves. It's about 30 to 45 minutes drive from the city. Or you can take the commuter train and then walk for about 10 minutes here to the temple. Behind me you can see the 272 ruling steps up to the temple and also the huge Lord Murugan statue. Here every year thousands and thousands of Hindu devotees come to celebrate Thai Pusam.
have come to the end of another episode of MH48 Hours in Kuala Lumpur brought to you by Malaysia Airlines. We hope you have enjoyed a dash of colourful Kuala Lumpur. Next, I'm going to do my web check-in before I leave for the KL International Airport.